So this patient is going to have a new procedure, which is called Venus Seal. It's a medical adhesive that's utilized to close the great saphenous vein. So basically, we've positioned this catheter at five centimeters from the saphofemoral junction. We have our uh, supply of glue in this injector, and I'm compressing the saphofemoral junction now. We're going to inject the first aliquot. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, two, three, inject. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, two, three. Now I'm going to compress for three minutes at the junction, this aliquot. And this will be a, probably the longest three minutes of the procedure. And what happens is this glue is activated by the platelets which line the inside lining of the vein wall and the glue will then adhere to the uh, walls of the vein and uh, close it. So again, it's a medical adhesive. The name of the procedure is called Venusil. The uh, advantages of this procedure is that we did not have to do any type of anesthesia around the vein, which is required for the thermal ablation techniques, such as endovenous laser or radio frequency. So this procedure requires no anesthesia, so it's a lot more comfortable for the patient. And also the patient does not have to wear support hose afterwards. How do you like that? The payment ag patient agrees with me. How many minutes is that? A minute it's been one. Three minutes is a long time. So you want to push it on your leg like a... a uh, countdown? Is it minus one minute? Minute 12, okay. Minute 12, that's all? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is considered, again, as I was mentioning, an evolution in the treatment of uh, great saphenous veins and uh, short saphenous veins. Uh, the adhesive has, was invented a, a while back by an interventional radiologist. Is medical adhesives are used for a lot of different things in medicine. They can be used to close aneurysms. Uh, everybody knows about glue for, for uh, suturing uh, wounds and some of these glues now are being extended into other uh, annex utilizations. Uh, this particular procedure at this time is covered by Medicare. Uh, it is not covered yet by most of the uh, private insurers, but uh, within a certain amount of time, maybe six to 12 months, we'll start seeing the private carriers uh, offer this procedure uh, as well as uh, endovenous laser or radio frequency. Uh, for our climate where it's very, very hot in the summer, the patients appreciate not wear, having to wear the hose for a, a week or so after uh, the typical procedures. You have 40 seconds. So this first, this first segment takes three minutes. The subsequent sec sections take basically one minute. The glue at the beginning, you want to make sure it's nice and firm and uh, completely solidified before you work your way down the vein. Okay, so I'm gonna release the pressure there. I'll go back and show you afterwards that the vein is already closed up here, but we're gonna go down to our next segment here, which is, this is the vein which is right here on the screen. It's already, it's already closed up here. So we're gonna go back down to find the uh, proximal segment where the vein is still open a little bit. Excuse me, I wanna make sure I keep my balance here. So we're right about there. So I'm gonna compress. We're gonna give another aliquot. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Compress. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So we're going to, same thing, we're going to compress the vein. His vein is going to be an excellent candidate for this type of procedure. It's not very big. Uh, he's got some reflux coming down into the lower segment of his leg. He uh, has some other issues he's going to be having taken care of. He has some knee treatments and some spinal treatments coming up shortly. So again, this, this procedure is 
a little bit longer. Well, it's about the same amount of time as the other procedures because we save the time of doing the uh, local anesthesia and we lose it a little bit with the time that we have to uh, compress the vein. So we've probably done a, a couple hundred of these so far and they've all worked out very well to our liking and the patient's liking. So we're going to now just go down, follow down where we close the vein here. I feel bad squeezing the patient's leg, but it's for a good cause. So there is the number two. So we're going to have you deposit an aliquot of glue. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, two, three. Go ahead. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and compress. Now, one of the things we want to assure is that we keep the glue inside the vein. So you'll see we have a little technique to make sure we don't get any little drops of glue outside of the vein. I have a tendency to take this procedure down to the, uh, the above knee area because once you've got this top segment that's closed, that means we've closed the reflux off from this uh, proximal segment. Then everything distal, the pressure decreases greatly and we can then uh, use other treatments to take care of it. Typically, uh, scleral therapy, which is the utilization of a chemical to close the veins below the knee. How are we doing time-wise? Four seconds. Four seconds. Okay, hold on just a second, because I want to see where I'm at. So we're getting closer right about here. So I'm just going to do one this time. Okay. Go ahead. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One. Two, three, that's the last one we're going to do. I'm going to hold this down here a few minutes, or one minute, excuse me. So, um, procedure took all and for all. Who do you think? How much time do you think, um, Angelina? We started uh, the actual 30 procedure. When you in. 30 minutes when I walked in? Okay. As, as you see, most of these procedures consist of putting everything in the right place. That can be more or less difficult. Some, it's usually pretty easy. Sometimes, you know, we want to be very careful, so it's better to err on the side of caution and go back and do things if we need to. I'm going to show you how we removed the uh, catheter. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we do. We typically want to make sure that the glue doesn't go into the vein. So we have a tendency to pull this little guy inside the blue thing. That way it pulls any glue. And then we pull our little catheter out afterwards. There we go. So as you see, procedure is basically finished. All we have is this little tiny spot here. We're going to put a little uh, super glue, a little uh, steri strip. But I just want to show you the, the vein. Do you want to just put your finger here a second for me, and I'll give us a little picture. So I'm going to show you on our ultrasound the vein that we just treated. So this is the glue in the vein. This is the vein that we treated. If you go all the way to the junction, this is the junction. So the glue starts about three centimeters back, so you'll see the vein is closed right there. So that procedure worked perfectly. And then the vein, the vein is closed all the way down from there down. You basically can't even see the vein. So. How do these veins get broken? Uh, the valves inside the veins fail. 